learning activities for kids. Our fun activities are focused on reading, writing, and math. Thank you for joining us to learn today. My name is Mackenzie, and in today's video, we are going to talk about books that tell us stories and books that give us information. Specifically, we are going to talk about the differences between the two and what we, as the reader, can gain from that book. Do you know what the books that tell us stories look like? Well, I have a few points for us to go over. Books and texts that tell us stories are not real. This means that they are made up. They can be inspired by real events or real people. These books are to entertain. The author writes them to entertain us, the reader. Books that tell us stories usually have characters and a setting. A setting means it has a place where the book is set, where it happens. These books usually have a problem and a solution. This means the characters go through some type of a problem and they have to figure out how to solve it. Books like this also have plot and dialogue. Dialogue means that the characters talk to one another and we can read what they're saying. Next, books that tell us stories have a beginning, a middle, and an end. Lastly, books and texts that tell us stories come in the form of fables, folk tales, narrative texts, and more. Informational books, on the other hand, are very much real. They are based on facts. These kind of books give us information on a topic. Its purpose is to teach us, whereas books that tell stories has the purpose of entertaining us. Books like this usually contain pictures with captions, and it usually has a lot of academic language. Next, I am going to read you two examples of writing. One is an example of informational writing, and one is an example of narrative writing, or a book that tells us stories. These writings are both about plants in some way, but one is informational and one is a storybook. So let's read these writings. if it is a text that is telling us a story or a text that is giving us information. Up first we have Plants Make Their Own Food by Kate Paxow. All living things need energy. Energy gives living things strength. Without energy, living things die. Humans and animals get energy from food. They must find food so their bodies will have energy to live. Plants are different from humans and animals. Most plants do not have to find food. Instead, they make their own. Plants mix water, gas from the air, and light from the sun. That mixture turns into a kind of sugar inside the plant. The sugar gives plants energy. That energy keeps plants alive. We are going to read the second text, What Plants Need, by ReadWorks. Fernando and Zoe go to a plant cell. They buy mint plants. They like the minty smell of the leaves. Fernando puts his plant near a sunny window. Zoe puts her plant in her bedroom. Fernando's plant looks green and healthy after a few days, but Zoe's plant has some brown leaves. Your plant needs more light, Fernando says. Zoe moves her plant to a sunny window. Soon, both plants look green and healthy. So now we're going to take a look at the differences between the two texts. Do you see the differences? Well, the first text was an informational text. It is important that we notice how the story did not have any characters talking between characters, a problem or solution, or a plot. However, it taught us about plants. We now know that plants make their own food by using water, gas from the air, and sunlight. Because it taught us all these things, we know that it is an informational text. The second text was telling us a story. How do we know this? Well, there were two characters, Fernando and Zoe, who were talking about the plants. They encounter a problem with their plant growing, and they fix it by putting the plant in the sun. Now that we have learned about books that tell stories and books that are informational, we're going to play a quick game in which we have to decide if a book is an informational text or a text that tells a story. I have cards here that has a summary of the book. And we have to use this information to determine if the book is an informational book or a book that is telling us a story. Up first, this card says, this book has three characters, three pigs, who build their houses with different materials. After the pigs talk together about how they are going to build their houses, they go their separate ways to get started building. They each have to overcome obstacles before deciding to work together. The second card says, this book tells us about what kind of food that pigs eat and how they grow throughout the year. The book also talks about the habitat of pigs and how farmers take care of them. So which of these books is the book that gives us information? 
Yes, the second book. And how do we know this? Yes, we know this is an informational book because it doesn't have any characters within the story and instead it is teaching us about pigs and giving us facts. This means that the first book was the book that is telling the story. What main factors gave this away? Yes, there are characters within the book and we know that they talk together and there are animals within the book that are acting like humans and talking, which means it cannot be an informational text because that is not real. We're gonna do this one more time. We're gonna determine which of these books is an informational text and which is a text that is telling us the story. The first card says, in order to make chocolate chip cookies, you need sugar, eggs, flour, butter, and chocolate chips. You have to mix all of the ingredients together to form a dough. Once you have created a dough, you form small walls and place them on a sheet. The last step requires that you have to put them in the oven to bake. The second card says, Samantha and Henry decided they wanted to learn how to bake the best chocolate chip cookies. They asked Henry's grandma to teach them. Henry's grandma walked them through the steps of baking cookies, explaining everything as she did it. After the cookies were done, everyone was so happy. Based on these two cards, which is talking about a book that gives us information, and which is talking about a book that tells us a story? So, which is the informational book? Yes, the first card. But how do we know this? Well, this is a real story that states facts about how to bake cookies. There are no characters or plot, but it teaches us how to make cookies. This means that the second card was the book that was telling us a story. How do we know this book is telling a story? Yes, this book has three characters who talk and there is a problem solution. This book doesn't teach us anything, but it is entertaining, which is how we know it is a storybook. And just like that, we've learned how to differentiate between books that tell us stories and books that give us information. Thank you for joining us today. We hope you come back and learn some more. Please like and subscribe to our channel and we will be back with more fun videos.